Crofty Lim Brothers is back today at the ocean front. Three bedroom unit here for sale, 1744 square feet. The unique thing about our layout is that we get dual views. We look out towards the sea. Oh, the weather is so bad. Over here, the view is so nice. It's raining. Ah. And welcome back to another home tour with Property Lim Brothers. And today we are back here again at the ocean front at Sentosa Cove. Partly also because we really love the waterfront living in Sentosa Cove. Today we are marketing one that is a three bedroom unit, 1744 square feet. And we are really excited to show you the place. All right, and Property Lim Brothers is back today at the ocean front, and we really love the lifestyle concept at Sentosa Cove. But of course, today we're back here not just for the Sentosa Cove itself, but because we have another three bedroom unit here for sale. Now, this one here is at 1744 square feet. The unique thing about our layout compared to the other three bedroom layouts here is that we get dual views. So, from our living and dining over here, we look out towards the sea, and later on towards the back part of the house which is where the common bedroom is it looks right towards the 1 degree 15 marina so that is something that is really unique for our layout asking price is going at 2.8 million so in terms of pricing it is very attractive now the ocean front at Sentosa Cove is a joint venture between uh, CDL and TID private limited so when they came together the company that built the ocean front is called TC developments ocean front is condominium situated right at the water edge of Sentosa Cove. Now at that time, when they were deciding for this particular plot of land at Oceanfront, the architect that won the bid was Wimberly, Ellison, Tong and Gu Ying, which is WATG in short. Now WATG designed Oceanfront in such a way that it resembles a shimmering sculpture that will be an icon to captivate seafarers as they sail along the Singapore Straits to Sentosa Cove. Now if you look on the exterior of Sentosa Cove, there is a special curtain wall feature exemplified by curved lines and planes that create a dynamic yet contemporary space. Also, all of the units here, they make use of full height glass doors and windows and also horizontal louvers to accentuate the curved planes. Now right at our unit, at the ocean front, our unit will be overlooking towards uh, one of the swimming pools right here. And also of course right from the balcony, we are looking outwards towards the sea. So just to recap earlier as I was sharing that there are four different three bedroom layouts right here at the ocean front. Two of them would be ours and actually the unit uh, right across ours. So compared to the other two layouts right here, which are actually at um, the inner blocks of ocean front, uh, right there their unit have a smaller balcony area so as you can see our unit here we do have a very rectangular shaped kind of balcony so this entire stretch right from here all the way to the private lift lobby actually within the unit itself it gets a lot of uh, natural brightness coming into the house so that is uh, a very unique feature of our layout right here every unit here at the ocean front comes with its own uh, private lift lobby you can definitely do up shoe cabinet floor to ceiling level so that you can put in uh, a lot of your shoes now over here you can also put in very nice potted plants so when you come back home it welcomes you with the uh, additional greenery right in front of us. Coming through this, you would have a sliding door. The door also comes with this kind of pattern, so it, it creates that kind of Japanese kind of feels. Coming inside towards the living and dining, a six-seater dining set. If you are a family that entertain guests, I think you can definitely put in a table that is uh, extendable even up to a 12-seater. This area then flows seamlessly across to your living. Earlier, I mentioned that there are four different layouts. So mainly two of them would have such a rectangular layout, which is ours and the one directly across our unit. The other two three-bedroom layouts actually have a separation between the living and dining area. The moment you walk in the house, there would be a separation and a slightly odd angle to the living and dining. On towards our kitchen area and the kitchen is one that right now can be used as an open kitchen and also as an enclosed one because uh, we have sliding doors here with uh, right now it's frosted glass. 
you like it to have transparent feel that connects with the living and dining, you can definitely switch that out to transparent glass. Our unit here gives you an L-shaped kind of a kitchen layout. So I think the space here is very good and the condition here, I would say, is great. Right here, it's flushed in a white and you have a plenty of cabinet space. Also right here, you would have your own uh, wine chiller that has been built in. I just got to show you this storage cabinet because it's very interesting. Now when you pull this out and then it turns out this way and then the other the inside comes out as well so I think this is something that is very thoughtful of the developer when they design the kitchen and also what's beautiful about this kitchen is that, that although it is enclosed you are able to open up this huge panel windows right here when you're doing heavy cooking so with this, you can definitely be able to ventilate the kitchen. And then here you will have an oven. This one would be a Miller brand as well. I have a feeling they never really used this kitchen when they were staying here because it's super well maintained. Right here, you have a hidden drawer area. Your fridge, which is a pretty good size. Coming back here, this is your yard area. You have huge panel windows here just to keep it ventilated. A WC over on this side. And of course, your home shelter. Home shelter, I have to say, has a very high ceiling. So of course, if, uh, if you like, you can definitely get a contractor to do up a sort of storage cabinets uh, at the top. So I think uh, space-wise, over here, you'll be able to put in your laundry. This is your back door towards the service list. So of course, your food deliveries and all that will come in through here. Now back to the living area, we have three-seater and a single-seater sofa. So with this amount of space, uh, you can definitely even put another armchair right over on this side. I think you can also have your own TV console area. Over here to this side is actually a nice cozy bay window area. With this layout, our bedrooms are all tucked towards uh, this corner of the house. So you do get that privacy for your bedroom area. And now let's go check out the bedrooms. <music> Now right in here is the master bedroom which is the highlight of the house so I think I'll take you guys to this one first. The amount of space is very generous. We have put in a king size bed just on this side and plenty of space uh, for two bedside tables. And of course this area would be really up to your creativity. We have put in a couple of seats and just like a reading corner. This house itself is one of the layouts here at Stack 8 that gives you a view towards the sea from your master bedroom. This area would then be the mini walk-in wardrobe so I think it gives you a good amount of space two panels on this side and two panels on the other side so master bathroom itself it's a really good size and flush with white marble so I, it gives you a very refreshing a uh, feel to it you would have uh, storage cabinets above your wash basin and also shelving uh, below now this one is your WC so I think it's really uh, spacious they've done it in such a way where you have actually three different sections to your shower one of them being standing shower with a rain shower and of course here you have your bathtub and here you have a mini outdoor patio area. You have these uh, balcony sliding doors, gives you a lot of natural ventilation coming into the bathroom itself. For privacy concerns, actually blinds have already done up. The bathroom door here is also done up with the sliding door. So I think it, it is really good because it takes up a lesser space within the room. Now another unique feature that I need to show you, the balcony right at the master is actually linked just beside ours, right towards your common bedroom. So this bedroom right here, we have single bed if you want to put in a queen size bed I think it's very doable as well so this study table is quite a good size and also when sitting over towards this direction you get views towards the sea as well so on this side you have four panels of wardrobe space so all of them are very really good size as well As we walk toward the third bedroom, we have a nice uh, corridor area. So on this side, you would have some storage space and also your DB box areas. And then here you have a bay window area again. You are able to ventilate your foyer area with this uh, huge panel windows. Let's go into the third bedroom. Here has its own balcony space itself. We have put in a queen size bed. This room is the only one which has a bay window. You can definitely do it up as a lounge area. The other possibility is if you prefer to have the bed looking towards this direction, 
button, you can definitely flush the bed towards the bay window. Now the reason why we did up the bed over on this side is because from this position itself, every day you would be waking up towards the view of the yacht. So for the third bedroom, it also comes with its own wardrobe area which is uh, four panels right over here. So it's also a very good size for a bedroom. Now right here would then be the common bathroom. Over here you have a standing shower and what I love about bathrooms here is that they all come with huge windows and then you also get to ventilate uh, your bathroom at the same time. Here your WC wash basin and then here you have uh, some storage space. So for Sentosa Cove itself, they started to release land parcels to developers in the year 2003. So the first project was Burr by the Cove and also followed by the Azure, the Cove, Turquoise and then followed by the Oceanfront. So the Oceanfront TOP in 2010, all condominiums and landed properties here are all 99 leasehold. Just to share in terms of some of the differences between the other projects, for example, the Azure is situated nearer to the entrance of the North Cove, the other project would be Turquoise. Turquoise is actually situated in the South Cove. But do note that for Turquoise, uh, they are facing exactly towards the internal waterway. So for Turquoise itself, the reason also for the slightly lower PSF, the units there do not have a direct sea view. The other projects such as the Berth and uh, the Cove, there is actually a road separation between the condominium project and the sea. The main highlight of our unit, we do not have a road that is separating towards the sea. We are located right beside the coastline. And that is also why the price here at the ocean front is also quite resilient. In terms of our pricing at uh, 2.8 million negotiable, you do have various options in the different projects available. At the end of the day, it would be towards the buyer preference and what would you be looking for. Now, Sentosa Development Corporation has also unveiled great plans for Sentosa Cove itself. So, of course, uh, at Sentosa, they would be exploring the Sentosa Brani Master Plan and also combined together with the Greater Southern Waterfront, uh, this entire Southern District. Uh, District 4 would actually become a very vibrant waterfront lifestyle. So for the Greater Southern Waterfront Plan that would extend from Pasir Panjang all the way to Marina East, all of them will be shifted over to Tuas and the entire area would then be redeveloped into a residential living district. So with these two development plans coming together over the next two to three decades, I think this entire Southern District of Singapore is definitely going to be an exciting one to look out for. So at Keysight Out, it's where you would find most of the eateries that are in Sentosa Cove itself. We have uh, many different cuisines from Western to Thai food to Italian food and Spanish. Just behind me over here is uh, the Greenwood Fish Market with the new restrictions where dining is uh, not allowed. But otherwise, on a typical day, the restaurants here are actually quite vibrant. And when you dine, you would have a view of the 1 degree 15 marina where all the yachts are currently berthed. And with that, we've wrapped up the home tour of this uh, 1744 square feet three bedroom unit and if you'd like to come down and have a look at this house together with us uh, just grab your board shorts and come down and we'll always be happy to show you the place so planning for future uh, appreciation in terms of uh... <laughs> Chelsea Chelsea I was filming my last sentence <laughs> <laughs> I think they're right. We got a visitor.